Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello guys, how are you? This is my first English video in my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope inshallah it will not be the last one. Uh, in this video inshallah we're gonna describe a new concept of Jetpack Compose Concepts. It is called Composition Local Provider. We're gonna start with an example because I believe that to describe something very well, you need to describe it with example. So let's start. Imagine that we have a kitchen, open kitchen, that has uh, three workers. The first is uh, preparing the pasta or putting the pasta on the plate. And the second person is that making the sauce above the pasta. And the third is making the topping or dressing over the pasta. Okay. So if I am preparing a regular dish or regular pasta, so the first will say, okay, it is regular. I gonna put the pasta on the plate and he will tell the next one that hey bro we need to add a regular sauce because it is a regular order when the second one finished the sauce he will tell the third one hey bro you need to add a regular dressing or a tomato just tomato without jalapeno because this order is regular and in the other side if it is spicy they will tell each other about the spicy and so so this has a uh, three issues the first is it is forgettable. I can't forget to tell the next person that, hey bro, do that, it is regular or spicy, I can't forget. And the second issue is that it is mistakeable. I can tell him that it is a spicy instead of regular or the opposite. And the third is that it has a hassle. While I am preparing the pasta, I need to be focused on the order type to tell my teammates that it is regular or spicy and so. So how to solve this issue? Someone recommend a solution to get a screen, LCD screen. On this screen, we're gonna show the type of the order. So if it is spicy, I'm gonna show a icon for spicy. And if it is regular, I'm gonna show nothing. I'm gonna show empty screen, okay? So now, while the first person preparing the pasta, he will look at screen to see if it is regular or spicy. And the second will not talk to the other persons. He will just look at the screen to know the order type and the third as well. So for our three issues that we have in the first solution. Now about forgettable, I can't forget because I have a screen and this screen is the source of truth for me. So if I forget, I gonna look at my screen to know the type of order. The second mistakeable. It won't be mistakeable anymore because I gonna look at screen as I said and I will know if it is spicy or regular. Hassle? There is no hassle because no one need to talk to other person. Just look at the screen and you won't have any hassle anymore. Okay? If we focus on this solution, we gonna find that this solution consists of four parts. The first is the screen. Just the screen is the first part of our solution. The second is the default value. The default value for the order type was empty, empty screen that described this order is regular, not spicy. And the third part is that the data that I provide to you to know that this order is regular or spicy. And the fourth is consuming this data, consuming this data from the screen meaning that I will look to the screen to know if the order is spicy or regular. So please focus on these four parts and try to take a screenshot for them because we're gonna use them in the coding part. So now let's code and open our Android Studio. So in Android Studio, we have a small application with just one main activity. This main activity has a composable functions, a lot of composable function. The first is the Basta blade, the empty blade that uses the Basta composable function inside it. And the second composable function is the Basta and Basta uses the third composable function is the sauce and the sauce using the topping or the vegetable that we're gonna add above the pasta, okay? Okay, so now if I need to differ between if it is spicy or not, I need to pass this value to all composable that I have. So I pass it to the pasta blade, even the pasta blade doesn't need it. So the pasta blade take it to just pass it to pasta composable function. And also the pasta doesn't need this value. It will not use it totally, so it just, has this value to pass it to the source composable function. And the source is using this value to compare between the source, if it is white source or it is red source, and use this here in the image composable function here. And then pass it to the topping and the topping pass it to vegetables, okay. 
Look at this solution. I can pass a wrong value to any composable by mistake, so I can here pass true or false. Nothing force me to pass is a spicy value. So this is mistakeable. I can in any in any uh, composable I can forget to pass it like this. So this is the other so, uh, other issue, and the third issue is that the hassle. Look for the hassle to pass over all composable function, even if this composable function is using this value or not. So let's try to run and see. Look now this is the empty plate, and then we are gonna add the pasta, and then we are gonna add the red sauce, and then we are gonna add the jalapeno. Why? Because we are passing is spicy true here. Let's try to pass it false and rerun again. Now it is the empty plate, and then we are gonna add the pasta, and then we are gonna add a white sauce, and above this white sauce we have a tomato here. So. This is the issue of passing the value over all composable function. So now let's try to find the other solution for the LCD screen. Like I said to you before, we need to add four things. The first is the empty screen or the empty uh, LCD screen. To add this, we're gonna go here over the root package. We're gonna add a new file and this file, we're gonna call it composable locals. And in this composition locals, we're gonna add a new local. We're gonna say val local spicy is equal to composition local of and the value of the default value. So look here. So now we have the empty board here, empty LCD screen. So this this local or this composition local of is the LCD screen empty. The second part of the solution is the default value. So our default value here is false. So it is regular, not spicy. Okay. So now we finished the first part of the solution, which was the uh, LCD screen, and we finished also the second part of the solution, which was the default value is false. Okay. So now let's know how to provide this value to our composable, the third part of the solution. So we're gonna wrap this top composable function with our local provider. How to do this? We're gonna say composition local provider. And in this provider, we're gonna say it is a local spicy, which provides, and here we're gonna add the value. So let's remove this and add it inside here. So. Now we use the screen. We said to this main activity, hey, we're gonna add this screen to you like we added to the kitchen, okay? But here we need to provide the real data, not the default data. So we're gonna add is spicy here. And let's remove it from all of our composable function. I will remove it and back to you again. So I removed all is spicy from our composable function. So we didn't pass it in any composable function, okay? So now let's run and see what will happen. Now we finished the first part, which was the uh, board and the second part, which was the default value and third part, which was providing the date. So now it is a white source and not uh, spicy because we pass here false. Let's pass true and say and see. Now we pass true, but look what will happen. It will add a white sauce and a tomato above. Why? Because we forget the fourth step in the solution is to consume the data. How to consume the data now? We provide the data above all the composable function we have because it is a tree. So any composable function inside this tree, inside this composable function, inside this root composable function will see this value like the shift, see it on the screen, okay? So to consume it, we don't need to consume it inside the pasta blade because pasta blade doesn't use this value and pasta as well doesn't use this value. The source is using this value. So we're gonna uncomment this line and instead of using is spicy here, we're gonna pass local spicy dot current. And here we're gonna pass source type instead of the drawable integer. And also in the vegetable, we're gonna do the same here 
instead of is spicy we're gonna use local spicy dot current and here we're gonna use this source type so now we consume the value we look at the screen by calling local spicy dot current what is the current the value you provided here okay so let's run and see now we see it is true so it's gonna add the pasta and above the pasta it's gonna add the red sauce and above red sauce it's gonna add the jalapeno let's make it false and try again so it's gonna add the pasta on the plate and above the pasta it's gonna add a white sauce and above the white sauce it's gonna add the tomato okay okay so now let's recap we have four parts of the solution the first part is that to add the board to add the LCD screen how to add the LCD screen we add it in a new file and say it it is local spicy and it is composition local off and we add a default value this is the second part of the solution we add a default value here is false and on the main activity we wrap our root composable function with composition local provider to just provide the value or the real data that we gonna use in the all composable function okay and the and the fourth part of the solution is to consume this value here inside the source and look if it is spicy or not and use it to add a white sauce or a red sauce okay that's all about composition local provider follow me inshallah for more and don't forget to like the video and share the video and also write any comment if you need anything see you again assalamu alaikum